Hi, today we're going to look at how automation can help facilitate taking your data from Revit to Inventor. In Revit, we start with a sample curtain wall, two walls high, four frames each wall. We exported the curtain wall design data into an Excel spreadsheet that gives us wall number, frame number, width and height of panels, the pieces that comprise each of the frames, and some information about their sizing, either length or width and height. The family type also provides some indication of where each piece might go. Is it a sill? Is it a head? Is it a jam? Or is it a piece of glazing? Those would be the low, middle, and high components. Using the spreadsheet, the inventor automation adds the business logic through iLogic to create the various frame pieces and assemble them in Inventor. So we'll go ahead and start our curtain wall rule. And it starts by, contain, by telling us the name of the spreadsheet that it's going to read for its data. This is the spreadsheet we were just looking at. And it begins building out the wall in Inventor. For each frame type, the unique profile was modeled in Inventor and a template part that could vary the length or width and height was created. The added business logic is used to position each piece to create the frames and assemble the frames into walls. By using templates, we enable the maximum reuse of parts. Identical parts are created once and placed as needed, no duplicates. On top of creating the parts and placing the parts that were listed in the spreadsheet from Revit, an additional template was created to model the clip that holds the glazing in place. The clip was never modeled in Revit. Doing this, modeling the clip in Inventor only, demonstrates the ability of the automation to not only bring over the data from Revit, but with additional business logic can also extend and enhance that data. Running the logic rule on a subset of the original spreadsheet, I created this smaller part and exposed some of the edges so that the detail can be seen. Again, these complex profiles were built as a template part and are extruded to cut length, if you will. This is the clip piece that we added that was not present in the Revit model. Once you're in Inventor, you have a fully functional Inventor model. And as such, you can do anything that you want in Inventor. In particular, you now have available to you the bill of materials that provide all of the pieces and quantities for what it took to put this wall together. Hope you enjoyed seeing a short demonstration of taking Revit data into Inventor using automation. Thank you for your time.